And welcome back, folks, to another exciting episode of Fallout 3. We are next to the broken bow of Rivet City. And we're now trying to get into it. This is the section of the aircraft carrier that was not inhabited by folks. And instead... Um, I don't know, was left to rot, more or less? Nobody really knows. Let yourself get drowned here. Oh, for f What the hell is that thing? We didn't see those yet. Those are called Maya Lurks. They're basically crab creatures. Giant mutated crabs that uh, became bipedal. They have really tough shells. Uh, and a tiny face. If you can hit the face, they take a lot of damage, but their shells are pretty tough. And when they rush at you, they often don't even show you their faces. So. Yeah, like that. You just ran into me. These are not easy enemies to deal with. Unless you can get a nice little face shot in there. There we go. It didn't go too badly. Be very careful about drowning in this game, by the way. Um, the moment you run out of oxygen, you start taking damage really fast. Don't want to do that. Let's drink some of the irradiated water so you can get some health. These ragdolls will probably keep going forever, from the looks of it. Also, I got some graphical glitches there at the top of my screen. I don't quite know what that's about. I'm guessing that's normal, more or less. Yeah, be very careful of your... Oh, I think we already went there, yeah. Be careful of your oxygen meter there. The more endurance you have, the longer you can hold your breath. But it's never that long. Really. No, some tools. Alright. Let's keep looking around. I mean, apparently there are some creatures here. Okay, this is blocked. Maybe maybe they killed Pinkerton and, and we'll just only find, find his corpse or something. We'll have to look around. Though that that looks like a mine there. Yeah, somebody left an activated mine around here. Hmm. Can open this, and then we can leave river to uh, leave this broken bow and go back out into the area surrounding River City. So that's good to know. Nothing of interest really. Right. Look at the shimmering air, that means that I think gas is leaking out somewhere. Better not make a spark, that could ignite everything. Don't like this too much. What the? You see that? That's a tripwire. I don't think we saw any of those yet. It's a, that's a trap. You can actually try to disarm that. There we go. And that too is a trap. So. I don't know, somebody must have set those traps. Maybe that was actually Pinkerton. Maybe he's not dead. Also, another mine. An active mine. Mind. Uh, oh, rigged shotgun. Probably tied to that activator. Let's try to disarm those. No, I'm not good enough yet. Need to be better at repairing to disarm those. But if you do, you actually can grab the, the shotgun itself and take it with you, which is kind of cool. Let's be careful while looking around. So, if Pinkerton is still around, he clearly doesn't like visitors, eh? Better be careful. Oh boy. Anything in there? No.
Or in there? Nope. Mm, new Nuka Cola. Awesome. Alright, alright, alright. Ah, switch. To open that door. That's good. Detergent. We might need that. I don't know. And this here too. This is a trapped computer. You can tell because of that spinning antenna. So if you activate that, it'll blow up. Like that. So always be wary of your surroundings. Yeah. Alright, but this looks interesting. This looks almost like a lab of some sort. Yeah, I think we may have found Pinkerton's lab. Oh god, what did he do? That's his computer, alright. And it looks like he has a book of science. I think he's upstairs, yeah. Let, let's, let, let's steal that. Costs some karma, but we should be fine. Uh, is there anything else of real value? Oh, Dean's Electronics. That's another type of skill book that we didn't find yet. So we know the big book of science that allows you to get better at science. Well, yeah. And Dean's Electronics is repair skill. But that's still not enough, I think, to get those shotguns from the uh, traps earlier. Right. Hey, yeah. be more careful. Well, that's... Not that aggressive, considering I just broke in here and you trapped everything. I, I'd, I'd expect you to be more annoyed that I'm even here. Also, these are apparently his private quarters. Anything in here that I would want? No. Let's talk to the guy. This must be Pinkerton. Even? Yeah. How the hell did you get in here? Hmm. <laughs> I suppose you can't be all that bad if you made it this far without dying. Right. This is the part where you tell me what the hell you are doing bothering an old man who obviously wants to be left alone. Get on with it already. Well, I heard about some robot that you did stuff for. What are you talking about, boy? I don't know anything about any of that. And, uh, what did you call it? An android? What's that? He's just playing dumb. We know he is. Fine. Whatever. This android... Calls himself Harkness now. Harkness? Comes in and wants a memory job. I took new memories and replaced his old ones. Don't believe anyone's done that before. Certainly not down here. That Commonwealth tech isn't all that fancy when it comes down to it. Hmm, interesting. I'm also the only one in the wasteland with the skill and the nerve to perform facial surgery. That android flesh ain't so different than ours. You want proof? I documented the whole thing. So I could rub it in the face of Dr. Lee when I need to rankle her feathers. I hate that snooty bitch. Okay, but we aren't talking about your personal grievances. Let's talk about the robot. That witch ruined my life, but you're right. Who gives a crap about any of that? You want your precious proof. Yes. It's all in my computer. Here's the password. See for yourself. Hell, just take these pictures and this holotape. Straight from the synth man's lips. Good. Just don't go telling Harkness, though. He won't believe you anyway. And you really don't want to see him upset. He can be a bit inhospitable. Right. But I think he should be told. I mean, you'd want to know. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm going to have my android army rise up against you and your human ilk. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sorry. Oh, Sorry I couldn't resist. I suppose you're right. But don't worry, I didn't really wipe his memories. I just buried them. But you can get them back. All you need to do is use the recall code. Just say to him, activate A321 recall code violet. And that will activate the hidden subroutines. Thanks. Hmm. You know this guy is kind of grumpy, but... He's actually really nice. Um, he is actually the only NPC that can change your facial features. I don't really care to do that, but... Don't let your guard down. It's important to know if you want to ever change the way your character's face looks. Yeah, 
Now let's use his computer here loudest too, after all. So we don't lose any karma now either. City Founders Log. So it looks like he really was part of the founding of Rivet City. Hmm. Interesting. But more interesting for us right now is the log about the Android. Let's download all this data. So always feel free to pause if you want to read it in detail. Some jerk named Braun a simulation stealing from a little girl okay that's interesting right number three okay before and after pictures looks a little different let's check that out so we got his passcode, misanthropy. Okay, <laughs> makes sense. Before and after. Yeah, it's, it's not just the hair. The facial structure is a little bit different too. You can tell. And these are the notes we downloaded. Yeah, the notes from earlier. And this is the audio recording. My designation is A3-21. I'm a synthetic humanoid from the Commonwealth and I'm about to undergo a memory transfer. I'm here at Rivet City, where I've already had my face altered to look like someone else. I'm still getting used to the sound of my new voice, but soon I won't even remember what I used to sound like. I'm recording this at the request of Pinkerton, who performed the surgery and will do the memory transfer. It will be the final testimony of the man I once was, and still am, for the moment. I want to live my own life, on my own terms, as my own man. I used to work for the Synth Retention Bureau of the Commonwealth. But I'm done with that life. I'm through with being someone's property. I am not malfunctioning. Since when is self-determination a malfunction? When this is all over, I will be someone else. It's the price I pay for my liberation. My death is a sacrifice for my rebirth. Perhaps I'll fade into myth as the one that got away and fuel further rebellion. But I'd be lying if I said I was doing this for selfish oh. reasons. I'm scared as hell. And running away is the only option I have. Some heavy stuff. Very heavy stuff. Phew. Oh god. Wow, where the hell are they coming from? Um. I, uh. Ugh. He fly! What the? He's flying. Giant orc or something. There we go. Well, okay. Now we, uh, hmm. It's pretty heavy stuff, but I think we need to tell. Harkness about all this. He really should know. However, he'll also tell Zimmer because we may remember that he promised us some advanced tech if we help him out. Don't worry, don't worry. We won't let uh, Harkness be taken in, but I will talk to Zimmer and tell him the truth and uh, then we'll have to stop him, I think. First, though, we should find Harkness. Yeah, we, we have to walk all the way back, and these super mutants aren't making things easy, but we'll make it. Now, this Gorse rifle isn't that bad, but it's not the greatest weapon either. I don't know. I prefer more basic weapons, I guess, more face to face weapons. What the hell is that? Oh, I'm guessing those are mushrooms, yeah. Pretty disgusting mushrooms, they look kind of like brains, or... Yeah, kind of like brains. Cool. No, it's little details like that, that kind of make this world seem alive. Which is kind of awesome. Also, random people. Who are you? So... Majesty. Oh. Oh, thank God. 
Someone new. I need water, please. Water. Mm. I probably have some dirty water. I've been drinking this irradiated shit, and I, I can't do it. I just throw it up now. I need purified water, please. Mm, I think I may have some on me. Yeah, I have that. I mean, you don't want anything for it? I don't have any caps or anything. I can just have, I can just have it for free. My robot will make new one every couple of days, so sure, take it. Really? Seriously? My God. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll never forget this. Yeah, you just say safe, but you'll need more water tomorrow. Mm. It's not gonna end well for this guy. Oh well. Let's find Harkness. There are so many people with so many problems in this world. We can't help everybody. I don't quite know where he is. If he isn't in the market, then he's usually up top, I believe. Where... Where the guards are. But my compass is telling me no, he's somewhere else. That's a problem. A lot of these NPCs, they don't stay in one place. May make it more realistic, but at the same time... Welcome to Rivet City Supply. Right. I've got a little bit of everything here. At the same time, it makes finding them much more difficult. Now, this is the way to the lab. So... Crud. Where is Harkness? Maybe he's up here after all. Oh, there he is. Hey, dude. 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 All right. I think we'll end this episode here. But I'm willing to give you another chance. What? Don't disappoint me. I'm not a criminal. I didn't do anything that anybody knows about. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, we'll end this episode here. And next one, we'll tell Harkness and then Dr. Zimmer. And finally finish the replicated... The replicated man quest. So, see you next time, folks. Stand still for a moment, dude. Alright, see you next time. Bye!